Greetings. I'm passed directly at First Evan Lutheran Church in downtown Racine, and welcome to my living room. I'd like to take you to a place today, a place which may seem a little bit unusual for this time of year, but nonetheless a, a place that I believe connects to what we'll be talking about on Sunday. I'm taking you to the city of Bethlehem, a little town of Bethlehem, just outside of Jerusalem, several miles to the south. And here it is where angels came and spoke to those shepherds the good news that Jesus had been born. The shepherds then went and found out for themselves and went away rejoicing. What wonderful things happened here in this area, perhaps. On this spot, is a chapel that marks those angels coming to those shepherds. It's a place called the Shepherd's Chapel. We're looking at a picture of the inside, looking up at the domed roof with all those holes you see there, representing the various stars that would have shown that night, that night where that view would have been broken by the light and appearance of those angels that came. Marking this area too are three beautiful murals which show the various things happening that night. First the angels visit to the shepherds. Then we have a picture of those shepherds going and seeing for themselves the baby Jesus. And then finally those shepherds going away rejoicing with the wonderful news that their Savior had been born. There's other art in the building and around here that mark that particular event and mark those shepherds, those people who were able to receive some great news from the Lord that their salvation had come. Those shepherds would also be reminded of something else as another piece of art reminds us a piece of art that's on the altar, and that is the crucifix, reminding us that, yes, those shepherds needed this Savior to be born to be the one who died for them. Yes, these shepherds needed the good shepherd, the shepherd of the sheep. This Sunday is actually Good Shepherd Sunday. It's the day in which we mark the fact that Jesus is the one who continues to lead and guide us and do all things for us. And why? Because he not only died for you and me, but he also rose. He rose to be our good shepherd. Now that's great news for us because that Savior is also the gate or the door that opens to eternity. Good news for you and me. God's blessings on your week. See you soon.